What is going on guys? It's Joe here and welcome back to another Boss Pet episode. I know this one has come around so soon. I'm totally not running out of video ideas. <laughs> Seriously though, I visited two completely new boss monsters this episode, so let's see how we got on. First, to the intro. First things first, in fact, I had a spare 15 minutes, so I made this page similar to the one you might have seen in my Barrows Bummer series. Just, it isn't quite as organised. But these are all the boss pets I aim to get in this series. You might have noticed the raids pets are not here. I guess that can be a series in itself sometime in the future. Dan, there's one for you, bro. But yeah, three bosses ticked off so far, as you can see. And when we look at it like this, well, fuck. We have a long, long, long way to go. Like I said, I will be starting most episodes with a Raxo, or at least involving him at some point. I want to add some real value to my sub, as I've said before, and what better way to do it in before someone says tell us over our go. But yeah, it's a boss I enjoy, one I can actually do as well. So, I'm back again today with another 20 kills. Can we finally land a leg piece? Can we get more gems? Can we even get the pet? Let's find out. It's the best route I've got now. Little annoying minions to kill. And I've got a question, this look of the dwarf's ring. Do I have to wear it when I deliver the finishing blow? Or can I equip it now and loot the body? Because I keep forgetting. Maybe for the finishing blow. Cash drop, not too bad. Ooh, God that's cheap. 1.7 mil, how much is that? Can I tell from there? Nope. I can this way though. I remember when they were like 3 mil and they are now 1.3 mil. Oh, that's depressing. Moving on! Gems! Gems, gems, gems! I love this drop. Honest to God, 2 mil per gem. Into the tab you go. So yeah, this next clip, I was actually listening to some music whilst I killed Rax. And I think I got a little too excited. What do you guys think? Oh, that build up for nothing. No, God, please, no, no. And we forget to bring the pack yak. And whenever that happens, everything just seems to go wrong, as you can tell by my inventory. But we completed the kill. Will we be rewarded for such our valiant efforts? Probably not, but here it goes. All that effort for that. Fuck! Pheromone! That's the second one I think I've got now. Not a bad drop. They have dropped in value, but nevertheless, in the tab it goes. Of the episode then, and we've really not had much. One bolt drop. A gem drop and a pheromone, I think. Can we go out with a bang? Nope. 500k, not too bad. On to the next boss. And this next one saw me enter in the wilderness, a place we all know Joe excels in. Is that fresh meat I smell? I thought so. Your muspa won't save you now. You're in Joe's presence. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? That's right, nowhere. <laughs> Get shit on. And thank you for the brownies. You wait there, Skeeve, you skull motherfucker. <laughs> I'll be coming back for you. You again, the AFKer. How dare you come back? You should have stayed at home with Daddy. G -g 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 Get shit on. Where are you, Skeeve? I know you're too stupid to run. There you are. You should have come when you had the chance, you motherfucker. <laughs> Get shit on, and thanks for the brownie. 
you know, I actually had so much fun filming that episode and I got so, so, so much hate. Quite funny, really. But anyway, moving on to the Chaos Elemental. Right, so I've just been in the orb getting my panoramic clips and I saw this and I have no idea what it does, but what? It looks pretty fucking sick. What the fuck? It's huge. What even is it called? What the fuck? It's huge. This thing looks fucking sick. I have come to fuck you up. Seriously though, this bow looks freaking hot. Come here, Mr. Chaos Ellie. And it bangs, it hits really hard as well, so we may as well use it. What even is it called? Hellfire bow. Hellfire bow. A few moments later. No, <laughs> I've logged out and my bow is gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess the Nox Boo will have to do. <laughs> Gay! Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. In all seriousness though, it was fun while it lasted, I kind of knew what the bow was about, I knew it gave away a location because, well, this happened. We killed him! We fucking won! <laughs> we won! I don't think I should be as proud as I am because... Well, that was fucking awful. Nevertheless, we will take that. No fucking way. I literally didn't even have to bang. I traded the random guy walking around once, just once and only to freshen my yak as well, not even to take any more resources out. And we have the ribs of chaos that literally took me about 40 minutes. No fucking way. Yes, another boss pet ticked off. And if you look closely, you can see we've actually almost completed the series after that. Lol. 189 kills though, and the Chaos Elemental boss pet has been retrieved. I think I got quite lucky, I'm not gonna lie. I like that a lot. The third and final boss, a game one I've not spent much time at, if any in fact, and it was the Twin Furies. Dan came along for my first trip. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous. I've not spent much time soloing at God Wars Dungeon 2, so he came along and helped. But yeah, it soon came apparent it was way, way, way too easy. No drops to talk about from trip one, but we did still make a nice 5.8 mil, which is going straight into the loop tab. Trip two, I did decide to solo, as you can imagine, and lasted the hour quite comfortably. Honestly, the stackable items from these God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses, or at least Vindicta and the Twin Furies, the ones I've killed, 
are just insane. So good for the boss tab. And then to top it off, I went and landed a blade drop. 1.3 mil. Nothing to get too excited about, but 1.3 mil into the tab, nevertheless. 4.9 mil made from the second trip then. Some nice items to add to the tab. And I did want to get a third and final hour in for you guys, but it didn't happen. I had to pick my brother up from the airport yesterday and the day just disappeared. It really did. But one more boss ticked off this episode. Progress, progress, progress. And this is what the current PVM tab is now looking like after today's episode. I have decided to add the runes from my Barrows Bumming series into the loot tab because why not? It's all from PVM I guess and they've really started to add up to a point where they might actually be worth quite a lot of money. But that is all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Useful? Why the fuck would you find it useful? And entertaining. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm in the